hello, happy Tuesday, third grade. Today for language arts, we're gonna be choosing the picture that matches the idiomatic expression. So let's go over what an idiomatic expression is. Well, an idiom is going to be a group of words that, have a, that has a special meaning. You can't figure out the meaning of an idiom by looking at each word on its own. Instead, you have to look at how the words are used together. So under the weather is an idiom. It isn't about the weather. It just means you're sick or not well. So Bill is staying home because he is because he's feeling under the weather. So if we just looked at it without the context, we'd say under the weather. What? What? Under the rain clouds? No. So but when we use it in a sentence, it has a different meaning. It means something else. So this one means sick or not well. And we can look at our context clues saying, well, Bill is staying home because he's feeling under the weather. So normally we stay home from school or maybe we don't go to sports because we could be feeling sick. So that also helps us when we look at context clues. So we're gonna go through some examples because we're gonna match the pictures to the idiom. So here it says, which picture shows the meaning of sleep on it as used below? So first, let's read it in context. We want to get a big dog, but dad isn't sure. He says he'll sleep on it and tell us tomorrow. So they don't have the dog yet, but it sounds like they want one. So in this sentence, sleep on it, does it literally mean that dad's going to sleep on the dog? No, it means sleep on it means he's going to think about it. He's going to spend a night thinking about it, and then he'll have his answer tomorrow. So the correct picture to represent sleep on it would be this picture, not literally sleeping on the dog, but thinking about it. So to show sleep on it is an idiom, it means to take time to decide. In this picture, dad is thinking about getting a dog before he goes to sleep. So he's thinking about it and then he will make his decision later. So let's do some more examples. So looking here, it goes, which, first we're gonna read the question. Which picture shows the meaning of on the fence as it is used below? Eric wants to get Chinese food. Lindsay wants to get Mexican food. But Marcy is on the fence. Now, is Marcy literally going to be on the fence? No, because it's an idiom. She's going to, she can't decide between Mexican or Chinese. So that's what on the fence means. It means, I don't know which one. I'm stuck in the middle. I'm on the fence. So we wouldn't pick the picture of her literally on the fence. She's just on the fence on which food she wants. She's undecided. And we got it. So let's do a few more together. So Ruth's, oh, first we're going to read the question. Which picture shows the meaning of two peas in a pod as it is used below? Ruth's kids are two peas in a pod. They aren't twins, but they look and act like they are. So are we meaning that her kids are literally two peas in a pod? No, we don't mean her kids are literally two peas in a pod, but when we use our context clues, they aren't twins, but they looked and act like they are. Right here, they look a lot alike. They look like they could be twins. So also using our context clues will help us pick a picture that matches the expression. Oh we got it. So let's look at another one. This is going to be our last one together. So which picture shows the meaning of smells fishy as it's used below? The man says he didn't steal the jewel, but I think he's lying. Something smells fishy about his story. So smells fishy. Are we literally talking about they smell fish in the air? No, but the police officer think he's lying. He thinks this story isn't truthful. And remember, we can use context clues because it says the man says he didn't steal the jewels. But this sir right here thinks he's lying. So he thinks he does have the jewels. So would he be holding a fish or would he be holding the jewels to represent smells fishy? He'd be holding the jewels. So smells fishy means he doesn't believe it. It's not true. Something, it doesn't seem right. So before we go, let's quick go over our idioms. So our idioms, remember these are a group of words that have a special meaning. And we can't figure out the word of the idiom by looking at each word on its own. By just the phrase alone, we wouldn't understand what it means. So we have to look at it in the full sentence with the context because these words mean something else.
So have fun, take your time, and look at the pictures. Remember, our idioms, they don't mean literally what they say. Like right here, it wasn't literally under the weather, not under a rain cloud or under the sun. It meant he was sick. So look at the context and have fun, and I will see you Thursday for language arts. Bye, third grade.